Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. So that's all about the occurrence. Let's start with the trends of the elements in the group 16. So we'll discuss about the electronic configuration trends, density, melting point, boiling point, atomic and ionic red eye, ionization enthalpy, electronegativity, metallic character, oxidizing and reducing agent, oxidation states, nature of compounds and chemical properties. Let's start with the electronic configuration. They are all group 16 elements and they have the electronic configuration of NS2 and P4. 2 plus 4 is 6 and plus 10 gives the group number that is group 16 elements. We talk about oxygen, atomic number 8, electronic configuration is 1S2, 2S2, 2P. So this is my format NS2 and P4. If we talk about sulfur, atomic number is 16. The electronic configuration is you take the electronic configuration of neon 3s2, 3p4. Similarly, for selenium, you see 4s2, 4p4. For tellurium, it is 5s2, 5p4. For polonium, it is 6s2, 6p4. So all these are following the same standard. The next is the atomic and ionic radii. As we go down the group, the size increase. This is a very common trend in almost all the groups. You go down, the size increase. Why? Because the number of shells are increasing, the size increase. If you talk about the size of oxygen, it is exceptionally small. So oxygen is very, very small. So if you see the size of oxygen is 66. If you talk about the covalent radius, from 66 to 104, almost 50% increase or even more than that. Yeah, 50% is 33, yeah. Almost 60%, I guess, 60% increase in size. But from here to here, it's 10%. This also is almost 12%, yeah, 15% at the max. And here to here is not even 10%, maybe 6%. So, but you see oxygen and sulfur, there's a 60% increase in size. So oxygen is very, very small as compared to other elements. You see, almost half, correct? And that is why oxygen is very special. Oxygen. The size is very small and also we'll talk about the electronegativity it is very high and, and that's why oxygen shows some special properties. We'll talk about that. Right? The next is uh, my density. So talk about density. Density also if we go down the group, density increase. Density is what? Mass by volume. The volume is increasing but the mass is increasing at a higher rate. Right? So mass increase, mass increase at higher rate. So we see from 8 to 16, double, right? 16, 34, again double. 34 to 52, almost 70% increase. But in this, uh, the increase in the volume was, we have seen this was 60%. This was almost 10%. This was almost I think 12-13% or 15% but if you see the this is my increase in volume delta V but if you see increase in mass delta M this is almost double 100% this is 16 to 34 more than double 120% levy or 110% and this is again a huge increase maybe 80% so if you see increase in mass is very high 100% 110% 100% or 80% but increase in volume is less so density is mass by volume. So this increases less, this increases more. So the numerator is increasing at a higher speed than denominator. Thus the overall density will also increase. And that's what we see. The density is also increasing as we go down the group. Okay. Let's talk about the melting point and the boiling point. See the melting point and boiling point. If you see oxygen, the melting point is what? 55. From oxygen and sulfur, there is a huge increase in the melting point. 
करेक्ट And also, if you see, notice here, the melting point and boiling point also has a huge difference. The reason why there is a huge increase in the melting point or uh, boiling point, also you can say here, is see oxygen is diatomic, and sulfur is octatomic, S eight. Correct. Now to boil it or to actually melt this, you have to break these bonds. Since sulfur is S eight kind of structure, it is actually W kind of structure. You see this kind of structure. This is the kind of structure for sulfur. Oxygen it is uh, diatomic. It is more difficult to break this bond. So many bonds you have to break. Okay, thus the boiling point of sulfur is very high. In fact, these all exist as polyatomic. They all exist as polyatomic. But sul oxygen exists as diatomic. Thus, there is a huge difference between the oxygen and sulfur as far as the boiling point is concerned. Okay. Let's see the ionization enthalpy. So, if you see, when you go down the group, the ionization enthalpy decrease. Why? Because there's an increase in size. Okay. So, ionization enthalpy is again amount of energy required to pluck one electron. Correct to pluck one electron. So, if the size increase, it is easier to pluck electron because this electron will not be in much control from this nucleus. But the size is small. This electron is tightly controlled by this nucleus. We have seen this concept actually. Okay, and typically the group sixteen. This is group sixteen. Elements it has lower ionization enthalpy as compared to group fifteen. Group fifteen, this I values are high. Why? Any guess? See, group fifteen we have seen that they have half filled p orbital. Their electronic configuration was n s two n p three. This half filled p orbital. Gives extra stability to group fifteen. Since they are stable, they don't want to lose electron. And with that concept, they they need more higher. They you need more energy to pluck one electron from group fifteen elements. Then you need to pick one electron from the group sixteen elements. Why? Because the group fifteen is. Half stable or half filled, extra stability. They don't want to lose electron. Correct. So two trends in ionization enthalpy. One is when you go down the group, the ionization enthalpy decreases. The very simple reason is that size increases. It's easy to pluck electron. But when you compare group fifteen and group sixteen, in that case, my group fifteen element will have a higher ionization enthalpy than group sixteen elements. Why? Because they are Extra stable because of half filled p orbital. The next is the electronegativity. Electronegativity also, if you see, it decreases as we go down the group. The reason can be yeah, increase in size. The increase in size, these uh, atoms are not able to attract electron towards itself, right? So tendency of oxygen to attract electron towards itself is maximum in this group. And thus, oxygen is the most electronegative element in the group sixteen. Okay. The next. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.